students good morning today we are going to start computer subject and its syllabus so before we start we are going to learn all its chapter and its introduction chapter 1 input and output devices chapter 2 more on word 2013 chapter 3 creating tables in ms word chapter 4 advanced features in word 2013 Chapter 5 Presentations in Word PowerPoint 2013 Chapter 6 Working with the Excel Chapter 7 Editing in Excel 2013 Chapter 8 Formatings in Excel 2013 Chapter 9 Internet and Email and Next if possible then we will conduct practical Excel so let's start chapter number one input and output devices as we know human body has different parts like eye eyes hand leg ear nose and they have different functionality like some some part are works as an input and some parts some parts are work as an output same as computer has different parts and some of them are input devices and some of them are output devices so let's learn first the definition of input device the device through which we can enter data into a computer are known as input devices here we have given some photos of an input devices like keyboard mouse web camera digital camera microphone scanner light pen joystick okay these are the input devices now first one is Keyboard. Keyboard is the most commonly used input device. It, it is used to enter text and numbers into the computer. A keyboard has several keys that can be pressed through the input text and, and number the text. See, it is called keyboard because it has a different kinds of keys. All the keys are categorized in a special keys like function keys, control, alter, cursor keys, etc. Alphanumeric means alphabets A to Z and numbers 0 to 9. It is called alphanumeric keys. And next one is punctuation keys. Punctuation keys means comma, semicolon, colon, at the rate. These are called the punctuation keys. So keyboard is a first and standard input device. Second input device is mouse. Mouse has two or three buttons on it. And the, in the center it is scroll wheel act as a third button when the user moves the mouse across the sur flat surface the mouse pointer on, on the screen moves in direction of the mouse movement okay generally mouse has three buttons left button is used to single click or double click see it is called a left button here it is a right button it is used to refresh of the computer or open some functions and third is scroll wheel it is given here in the center that is used to up or down the pages next one is input next input device is trackball trackball is similar to mouse but it also used but it is put on a uh, specific place it is not going to move on the surface mouse we have to move the mouse on the surface where trackball will be on the same position okay it has a ball on the top like here it is given a ball which which is rolled with the finger to move the pointer on the screen next one is joystick joystick is used generally for the playing games okay like here it is ideal for the computer games this is called the joystick also known as input device next one is light pen it is used for writing or drawing directly on the screen it is most widely used by the engineers architects and designer so far we have discussed all pointing devices like mouse trackball joystick and light pen are called pointing device because they are used to point something on the screen next one is scanner scanner is also known as input device because it scan the particular image or document and store electronically format data into the computer so it is called a scanner scanner has four types nowadays flatbed scanner seat fed scanner handheld scanner and the drum scanner 
flatbed scanner it is very similar to the photocopier it will be put on the same position and document will be on the same just it will move the particular light beam will be moved from top to bottom in sheet ferry scanner the document will move from top to bottom but the scanner will remain on the same position next hand held scanner generally you have seen this scanner like in a dmart or in a mall to scan some particular information which is in the barcode okay and then the drum scanner it is extensively used in the publishing industries so there are four types of this scanner flatbed scanner sheet fed scanner hand held scanner and the drum scanner next input device is microphone a microphone is used to input to input voice sound or record the music into the computer okay next one is touch screen generally smartphone and the smart screen has a touch screen a touch screen is a special type of computer display screen that recognizes through the user's finger for example you have seen in the atm machine tablet pc mobile and smart phones generally you have seen also in a railway station or airport to check your uh, current position of your ticket next one is graphic tablets a graphic tablet is an input device that enables a user to draw images by hand similar to the way a person draws image with a pen or pencil generally it is used by the artist or graphic designer okay next one is web camera it is fixed on the computer screen so that it is called a web camera it is used for the video chatting or video conferencing next one is digital camera which is also known as digicam it takes the photo in a still photocopier image okay it has a some uh, some digital camera has lcd on the back side also known as liquid crystal display next one is barcode reader okay also known as bcr it is unique in this unique combination data are stored inside these bars okay and then the scanner this scanner will recognize and read the information stored inside these lines and then it will store the information inside the computer for example you have seen in a big bazaar or dmart okay next one is micr that is called magnetic ink character reader see whenever you have seen a check check has a some numbers what on the bottom side so these number are printed by the magnetic ink it is a special kind of ink okay and for this to read this ink this character we should have a specific scanner that is called micr that is magnetic ink character reader next one is optical character reader also known as quick response qr code you have seen this qr code now nowadays in you know, some social media application has a qr qr code to scan it directly and store you can, you can access the information directly so it is called quick response code but to read this code the, to read the information stored inside this we should have a particular reader that is called optical character reader next one is optical mark reader it will recognize some mark which are on the paper and then according to that it will store the information in a computer okay generally it is used for the examination mcqs next one is card reader there are different cards are there atm card debit card credit card sd cards okay so this for this to read this information stored inside this card we should have a card reader so so far we have discussed input devices there are many input devices are there keyboard mouse trackball joystick light pen scanner microphone touch screen graphic tablet barcode reader web or digital camera micr obr omr and the card reader so far we have discussed all the input devices now the next we are going to learn about the output devices the device that are used to receive output from a computer are called output devices there are two kinds of output are there hard copy and the soft copy hard copy means we can see and also we can touch the particular information we can see and also we can touch that is called a hard copy and the information which we can see but we cannot touch that is called a soft copy so here we have given some output devices are there like printer headphone monitor screen okay then speaker these are called the output devices first and very 
basic in output device is visual display unit or in short we can say VDU visual display unit it is similar to a TV screen and also known as a monitor the information which we see on the monitor is called a soft copy because we can see but we cannot touch that is called a soft copy and the important thing is the size of the monitor is measured in a diagonal length diagonal length means what from first corner to the this corner the screen of the monitor is measured in the size like first corner to the second corner so it is called a diagonal length there are three types of monitor is avail are available crt means cathode ray tube LCD means liquid crystal display and LED means light emitting diodes. Next one is printer. Printer provides output in a permanent readable form on a physical media like paper or transparent film. See whatever information we have seen, we have typed in the computer which we can receive in a, on the paper it is called a hard copy. The printed copy output is called a hard copy. There are two types of printer impact printer and non impact printer impact printers produce character on a piece of paper by striking it it is called a impact it shows the impact on the paper whereas non impact paper it it print the paper it print the output on the paper without striking it prints by hammering a set of metal pin or character set whereas non impact printer printing done by depositing in ink in any form it is faster speed around 250 words per second whereas non impact printer sp uh, slow slowest speed is one page per 30 seconds it is very uh, noisy whereas it is wor it works very silently examples of impact printers are dot metric printer daisy wheel printer line printer whereas non impact printers are inkjet printer laser printers now let's discuss about some printers and their functionality see here, here you can see the image of dot matrix printer okay this is the image of line printer line printer means it will print line by line that's why it is called a line printer dot matrix means it will it generate the character so it display the character by using the dots inkjet it is a special kind of ink it has a special kind of inks to display or to design the characters and laser printer use the laser beam to design the particular character or particular piece and on the page okay now next output device is speaker and headphone both are same but the speaker is used to listen all people people can listen at the same time whereas headphone is used to listen only one person can listen at a time okay next lcd projector it is it display the uh, screen on a big size so it is called LCD projector it is output device next braille printer it is also known as a output device next one is plotter printer and plotter both are different printer is used to print on a small images or small kind of data while plotter is used to print some graphic charts tables or diagrams on the big size okay there are four types of plotter are there drum plotter micrographic plotter inkjet plotter and flatbed plotters okay so far we have discussed here input and output device of chapter 1 so input devices are there the output devices are this is the chapter number 1 I hope students you have uh, easily understood chapter number 1 input and output devices next we are I'm going to solve the chapter 1 exercise but hello students we are going to start chapter 1 exercise input and output devices are together called computer peripherals Second, blinking vertical lines on the computer screen is called a cursor. A soft copy output exists in electronic form. A joystick is used for playing games. A, computer, a graphic tablet is used for drawing objects directly on the screen. Now true false. Keyboard is a pointing device. False. A trackball is similar to a mouse. True. Touch screen you are used in ATMs true a video is similar to a typewriter false impact printer are slow and noisy true now choose the correct option which of the following is or are called punctuation keys all of these 
कीज फॉर अल्फाबेट एंड नंबर्स आर कॉल्ड अल्फा न्यूमेरिक मेनू ऑप्शंस आर यूजुअली सिलेक्टेड बाय क्लिकिंग द माउस विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट अ पॉइंटिंग डिवाइस कीबोर्ड विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर नॉन इम्पैक्ट प्रिंटर्स बोथ इन जेट एंड लेजर बोथ आर नॉन इम्पैक्ट प्रिंटर ना क्वेश्चन आंसर्स वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन अ स्पीकर एंड अ हेडफोन हेडफोन आर यूज टू लिसन टू साउंड और म्यूजिक फ्रॉम द कंप्यूटर विदाउट अदर पीपल हियरिंग इट वेर एज यूजिंग स्पीकर other people can hearing it what are the advantages of laser printer they are very fast and produce high quality output differentiate between impact and non impact printer so impact printer produces characters on a piece of paper by striking it is called a, an impact printer whereas a type of printer that produces characters on a piece of paper without striking it is called a non impact printer it prints by hammering a set of metal pin or character set whereas non impact printer printing is done by depositing ink in any form it is faster speed its faster speed around 250 words per second where non impact printer can print one page per second having banging noise of needle on the paper means it can make a noise whereas uh, it will work very silently The examples of impact printers are dot matrix printer, daisy wheel printer, line printers, whereas non-impact printers, inkjet printer, and laser printers are non-impact printer. Now, next fourth question: How is the size of a monitor measured? The size of the monitor is measured by the diagonal length of the screen. What is the use of a scanner? It creates an electronic image of the page, which can be then entered into the computer as an input. what is light pen light pen is input device which is used for writing or drawing directly on the screen names different types of scanner flat bed scanner sheet bed scanner handheld scanner drum scanner mention two places where touch screen is used railways airports atm machine smartphone etc so students write down this exercise in your notebook thank you bye